Hi everyone, so I want to do a quick update on my Project Lip Lab or some people call it Beauty Bank or Placement Only Know By, Makeup Rehab. There's so many names for this, but essentially it's accountability for what we're spending and what we're bringing in and out of our, our collections. Um, and this is the way I'm doing it. I'm calling it Project Lip Lab because it originated from the idea that I wanted to go to the lip lab that opened recently next to my friend's place. And um, it's a trip for me. And I wanted to basically fund the trip using empties and values that I put towards those empties and um, be able to fund my trip. It was about a $500 round trip plane ticket. Um, I would also, you know, when I was ready for it, tack on, you know, the meals and the other things that was going to be associated with the trip. Um, but it has essentially evolved into like a self-care type um, fund in many ways. And I'll explain that a little bit more. So just out of the gate, I am down to $33 in my fund. I'll explain why. Uh, the last time I reported, I was around 300, 400 almost, I think. And um, I ended up buying my plane tickets. They were about, I think, 500, uh, 250 each way. Like I said, I'm not gonna give an exact amount. I had like points to go towards it. So it's never exact. I think that's the thing with this project is like the, <laughs> the funds I'm taking in and out aren't exact at all in terms of what the retail value of what I actually spent. Because I think oftentimes in life I put I really want to actually also not only think about the retail value, but also the value it has to me and be fair about that and like be honest with myself about that. Like, um, like I think, for example, like a makeup product, right? Like a, I'm trying to think of a, a makeup product, like a highlighter. I'm not really into highlighters um, or like a brow product. I don't really use brow products. Those have very minimal value to me. Yes, it can cost $20 to purchase, but it probably is only worth like $5 to me because that would be the only amount of money that I would be wanting to like spend to try it out because I don't use those products very much. So that's kind of idea. But then if it's something that actually has value to me, like, like a lip product, I love my lip products, I'm willing to shell out potentially up to $20 for a lip product if it seems to be that good, right? So, um, you know, that's kind of the value basis that I put on things. And again, I don't expect anybody else to be using the system. This is the system for me, um, but it's good for me to talk about it. I really filmed this to document for myself um, and to tell, you know, future Jamie, uh, this is what you did and it may or may not have worked for you. <laughs> so, um, I basically am still using old school method, pen to paper. And um, I have logged, so I basically logged up to like almost $575 worth of like towards my funds, things that weren't in and out of my collection. Uh, notably, you know, I used up a few Franken lipsticks since we last talked. Um, I used up a serum and that was $30 toward my fund, but then I purchased the serum that was 30 bucks out. Um, and then, and then I officially was like, I'm going to just call it and take out my airfare. So that brought me down to $39. This was back at the beginning of February. And then um, again, a, actually a good number of outs. I was, I was preparing for a good number of things that was about to come in. So I was like, I better use up some things. And I was on the edge of using some things up. So I promised I wasn't like going overboard. But I got myself about $132 between the different like samples I used up. I used up a body lotion. Um... Let me see here. I uh, actually even for the, I used a good amount of the lip palette. And so I actually put that progress in into this fund as well because I like remixed the whole palette and like freshened it up. So I gave myself a few bucks for, for the use I put on it. Um, and then I had a ton of things come in. It was kind of unfortunate. So um, basically if you saw my last makeup date, I had tons of ins that came in and a few of the things I didn't count towards my um, Project Lip Lab or like my my beauty bank here because they are unique products that are either the the only one backup I have or it's the you know it's the unique product in that category. So for instance, like I bought a face moisturizer. I don't actually have a full size face moisturizer. I have a sample one or I have this like deluxe size one that I'm trying to work through. Um, I might have one or two more of those, but I don't have a full size one. So I didn't count the full size one I got against my beauty bank um, just because it's unique. That's the only one I have. If I bought another one, then that one would count toward my beauty bank because I bought it in excess. Like, I think that's what this beauty bank is, is really geared towards is to really 
minimize or like encourage me or discourage me actually discourage me from buying extra and discourage me from buying excess and having all these extra products like sitting around that's really where I'm trying to get my collection to so I did get some extra products um, and one of them was a, uh, a mini lip balm um, and I and I you know I don't actually have a ton of lip balms right now in my collection so I just while it is in excess I just counted like one to one and then but I did get bring in like a lipstick or like a multi-purpose stick um, from it's from a brand called Mango People and um, that one actually took $40 away from my fund because I don't need it. I have other lipsticks and other products similar to it and so I actually counted it double which for me a lipstick is $20 towards or against my fund and so it's twice as much so it's $40 against my fund. And then I also um, in a mystery bag I got a Benefit Duo and um, that was in total 5 grams and so um, I put for every, let me see, I have like a rule in here where it's like for every, um, what did I write in here? Oh yeah, here we go. For every 2.5 grams of product, um, it would be $25. Um, so whether towards or against, if I use up 2.5 grams of blush, then it would be, you know, um, $25 in my collection just because I feel like a lot of complexion products are like that um so this one was actually no sorry <laughs> totally I'm butchering my own makeup math makeup like regular math is hard enough why am I doing makeup math five grams of product is $25 so any five grams if I use up five grams of a complexion product like a blush that would be $25 towards my beauty bank or project lip lab and um but since I this is in excess I doubled that and so the five grams of product that uh, was in that duo now is $50 against my beauty bank. So now I'm left with $33. And some of you might be wondering if you're like closely following my makeup collection. I don't really expect you to, but I am. <laughs> so I'll just say it for my own documentation is that um, I did also in the mystery bag I got from Glambot. I also got a Fenty highlighter and I got some other products. Like, why aren't you counting it towards your beauty bank? It's because I'm actually decluttering those and giving those away. I swatched it and it just, I could not imagine myself using it. So I'm letting that one go. Um, and I feel kind of sad, like Fenty is a cool product. And um, like Fenty is a cool brand and it has cool products and things like that. But I think I just couldn't justify like moving forward in my collection with that and having that sit in my collection probably for a really long time because I have another highlighter that I'm actually trying to figure just figure out how to use so to imagine me like bringing in another highlighter and then trying to also figure out how to use that like that just was way too daunting for me so I'm just gonna actually give that away I'm gonna eat the losses um I'm not gonna put it towards my beauty bank but like financially I lost it I mean when I broke it down like in my video it really was only five six bucks um in the you know in the cost of the whole beauty bag um but yeah it's kind of unfortunate but that's kind of what happened there um i also have this other cover effects um one that i got but this one i would say is unique to my collection it's a custom enhancer drops it's like their highlighter drops and this one's unique i don't have another liquid highlighter and so i'm gonna give myself the pass for this one because i don't want to dip into the negative um and it's like uh, I make my own rules like I'm trying to be somewhat rigid and like somewhat realistic um but I think given where I'm at right now I think I'm gonna let this guy pass I'm gonna let my declutters go and be declutters and um, my fund is now down to $33 so it's a little humbling it went from like 500 and something to 33 yes I took out a good chunk to airfare but I mean this is also like those double like hits and double consequences that I was talking about um like that's I, I feel like I've tried to show myself that there are consequences to buying excess <laughs> and now I'm down to $33 and I think moving forward like I said I'm trying to make this more into more uh, into more of like a self um self-care type of product like fund and um one thing that I'm doing is actually I'm getting back into synchro which is very exciting synchronized swimming um I did it Gosh, I left the sport like, I don't know, 12, 13 years ago. And um, it was really, really good for me. And I am looking forward to going back. Um, I'll be joining as a master's this time. 
and it comes with a cost. It's not a cheap sport. Um, and I'm already joining at like a club level, and so it's not that expensive. Um, and even as masters, it's even more discounted. But it's nearly a hundred dollars a month, and um, I don't. I suspended my other gym membership so I can like kind of like put that towards this. But either way, um, I'm hoping that it will get me to like be exercising more and be thinking more about like just being healthy and the self-care that I really need. Makeup is not really my self-care, like at the end of the day. The exercise, eating healthy, being around good people, enjoying what I do, like that is self-care. And I'm hoping that every month that I'll at least be able to use $100 um, to put towards that synchronized swimming experience and um right now i'm at 33 i need to build myself back up to 100 by the end of april because while i'm starting synchronized swimming and like doing i'm basically doing a trial month in the month of april so i'm gonna let that go a trial month is a trial month but um starting when i do actually like seriously commit to going to practices and to be engaged with team and things like that I want it to be coming out of this fund. I don't think I'll like dock myself per se. Like I'll take it out. If I go in the negative, I'll go in the negative. But I'm hoping that will really spur myself to be, okay, use up my products so that I can go towards other self-care things. And it can go towards makeup too, but it has to come out of the fund. And I have to be honest about that. Um, and like I said, I let some things slide. I let some things go. But I want to really have this list be a documentation of what's coming in and out of my makeup collection and what I'm using. Uh, I think the declutters and stuff I'm just going to let go because I'm not really going to be using them on my collection. But I'm hoping I'll look back at some of these videos and be like, that happened. That was not a good idea to buy a mystery bag. And um, that, you know, that you lost out on some, probably some good money towards something else. <laughs> like in reality, I lost some money, right? So all that to say, that's kind of where my Project Lip Lab or Beauty Bank is at now. Um, I hope that it was at least interesting to, to hear about what's been happening. And I hope that the next time I check in that it'll be a good update. And um, I'll have some positive news to share next time. But for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.